Hey peeps, it's Andercon. Today I'm playing the Technic Mod Pack. And this is the easiest mod to install ever, and it's got a whole buttload of mods in it. And uh, so let's just start from uh, the installer. So to get a hold of the uh, Technic Mod Pack, you go to uh, technicpack.net and go over here and uh, click on one of these three installer links. You got OSX, you can have a jar, or you can uh, just grab the EXE if you're in, in Windows. So uh, let's go and see what the Technic Pack is. Pretty much it's a huge list of mods all thrown together in one easy installer. And uh, it's got a whole bunch of really good ones. I know what a good number of these are, and uh, I'll explain them as we go. So what you'll be downloading is a Technic Launcher Updater. So double click on this little thingy, and it'll pop up a nice little screen here. And uh, this isn't quite what you'll see. This is what you'll see after you've, you know, been in it once. You'll probably have like a blank up here, and you want to click on it like this here, and uh, choose the mod pack you want because there's several in here uh, that you can choose from. You can play Vanilla. You can play Hack Mine. You can play the Voxel mod pack. I don't know what those two are at all. Uh, you can get the Yog box, or you can play, uh, this is Tekkit, so it probably just set up a server for you right on the spot. And uh, I'm choosing the Technic. So go ahead and uh, input your details down here and log in once, and it'll go ahead and download the whole Technic pack and everything, and just put it in its right spot. So then you want to go to, well, you probably want to back out of it, close it, reopen it, go to Options here. And what I'm going to do here is put manual build selection because I don't want this uh, to update on me and break my world because I'm, you know, recording videos and stuff. So I'm going to be playing 6.0.7 version of this for probably a good while. Not until, you know, they've got the recommended build up on a 1.2.5 version. So yes, this is going to be on a 1.1 uh, version of Minecraft and a somewhat older version of the Technic pack, but I really don't mind. I think that's just fine. Because uh, there's nothing in this pack, you know, even this older version. It's got more stuff in it, and everything that the vanilla does, even in 1.3, that isn't even out yet. So, uh, next thing is you can locate however much memory you want down here. And I'm going to have about a gig and a half. Then I'm going to hit Mod Select down here, and uh, for this you can uh, turn off and on any mods you do or do not want. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them to choose from in here, and you don't have to turn any of them off. I just turned off one called Somnia. I can't see where it is in here. Uh, but anyway, Somnia made it pretty much so there was a load screen every time. There it is. Every time... Um, I used the bed. It went into a loading screen and, you know, countdown for, say, hey, you know, let's simulate the world while you're asleep. I didn't like that so much because, you know, 30 seconds just to use a bed, not for me. So, go ahead and log in, wait for 15, 20 seconds to pass for it to load up all the mods into the background, and yeah, that's normal. So, I'll see you in the world. Well, back in the world here. And if you want to know the seed, it is 1357, just the first four prime numbers. And uh, you probably have to use my specific uh, version of the launcher, and, or, well, uh, like this specific version of Technic, uh, to get this specific world anyway. Uh, it should be about the same, more or less, except the volcanoes and some of the villages might end up in different places. Uh, anyway got a beautiful area over here, and I'm going to throw a house over there sometime soon. For now, i got a uh, little hole in the wall. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get in here is uh, go throw yourself down a hole for an hour or two. And get all your resources together. i got a bunch of junk here. Oh, come on, stop lagging on me. There we go. A bunch of stuff in there, a whole bunch of things in here. Got a little bit of junk together. And I went ahead and uh, put these, you know, up in here, whatever. I'll show you how to make these later, after I built my house, my new one. And uh, so we're going to, you know, just jump into this, and I'll tell you a little bit about a handful of mods in here. Like this thing right here, I'm very impressed with. This is a uh, crafting table Mark II. Yeah, crafting table two. Now, this is interesting because, say, you know, you just got a whole bunch of... Uh, junk on you, like, uh, let's see, let me just take a handful of things. Alright, this is what I got in my inventory. 
this is what I could craft with the stuff in my inventory. And if you want something, you, know, you just drag it out and you get a helmet. Now, it doesn't work with, uh, well, for instance, if I had everything in here to make the basic level of solar panel, but I didn't have it all put together yet, uh, I wouldn't be able to make a solar panel from just the very basic raw material. I'd have to start making all the different pieces, and it would slowly come together. You know, I'd have to make an iron furnace, a whole bunch of other jump, junk. But I'm probably not going to use that mod too much on camera. I'll use that off camera. Because I want to be able to show everybody, you know, all the recipes for all this, you know, different neat things. So this is uh, build crafts, or not build craft. This is industrial craft stuff. Uh, and Industrial Craft is uh, my old standby mod, one I always played you know, for the longest time. And uh, I made a bunch of videos about it. And I've also got some videos about build craft, it's on here too. And we got Red Power, I made a, uh, two or three videos about that one. And there's a whole bunch of mods in here that uh, I've never played before and never seen before. Uh, well, I've seen them maybe a little bit. Like, uh, we got. Um, what else? We got. Um, Thomcraft, but it's an older version of Thomcraft. It's been updated to um, 2.0 plus more now, <laughs> and uh, this is like the first version of it. And uh, I don't even know what what mod this came from. I got jellyfish. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, ooh, a horse. Sweet. Uh, I don't have any apples on me right now, but you can tame these horses. Uh, that's from... Uh, what's that one from? More creatures? Mo creatures, I think. Uh, so, i got a whole bunch of different new mobs on this, uh, and we've also got villages. Um, just, you know, not your vanilla villages. Oh, hey, Keith. And uh, we've got... Oh, let's see, what was that called? Millionaire. That's it. Uh, that thing's got, like whole bunch of different races, uh, and they each have their own villages and everything. So let's get this thing to daytime before I get destroyed by everything that's about to, you know, pop up on me. Oh, oh. eat with my door. Uh, so this here is, um, let's see, this is part of Red Power. It's got a bunch of marble, and plus there's volcanoes and things like that. So there's so much stuff in this mod pack, it's ridiculous. Uh, you could probably just download this and you wouldn't have to download anything else or play anything else for a good solid two, three months. Uh, it would probably take you a while just to get through all the content in here. Like this crazy ass tree. <laughs> oh, it's alive. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> So, uh, let's see, I got pygmies over here. Oh, and these are some giant jungle trees. Well, these aren't jungle trees. That's like rubber wood trees. And that's uh, from Red Power. And right over here, I've got a little building here. This has got pygmies in it. And they'll just randomly spawn out of nowhere and destroy you if you've already killed them once. Uh, like, I'll probably just suddenly get owned. Because I killed them off. Like, oh, there they are. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Might be full size today. Huh. Maybe I was killing the kids. I don't know. Ah, there's the Thomcraft slime. Don't hurt me. Oh, jeez. I ain't got any armor on and I'm just getting destroyed. Don't, don't, ah. Oh, dear. Get, oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And uh, if you noticed, I'm not using a sword here. This is actually a, uh, let's see, what is this? Hammer of some sort? Oh, let me look. Iron War, war Hammer. So uh, you got extra um, weapons uh, added into the game, and those are uh, pretty cool. I really love that because uh, you know you get tired of just the default sword, you know, swinging that old thing around. It's kind of tired. So these things have got different strengths uh, and abilities, like this one you can charge up, <laughs> and anything close it will get hurt. Like uh, let's try it on this duck here. Oh, it's got a, apparently it's got a um, few second, uh, oh yeah, got to wait for it to recharge and stuff. Come on. Oh, I want to make sure I'm close enough. I don't know how close you got to be for this. Yep, it works. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, forgot. Uh, let's uh, hit the inventory, hit the O button. So uh, we got a whole bunch of, well, you might have seen this before, something like too many items 
And uh, let's see, it's currently in recipe mode, and that's all I'm going to be using it for. It's also called NEI, -I, I guess. Yeah. So to use this, see if I want to know how to what how to make like solar panel. So you type in there, search, click on whatever you want, hit the R button, and uh, it'll show you how to craft anything you want. So here's how to craft the solar panel. If you want to know how to craft any individual piece, just hit R again while hovering over any part of it, and it'll show you how to make anything. And, oh, that's interesting. All right. Oh, neither redstone ore. Okay, yeah, that's from, uh, there's extra ores added into the neither. All the different ores are in there. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, say if you want to know what uh, redstone is used in, I think you hit the U button. Yep, and then it'll show you all the different recipes that uh, that uh, redstone or anything else you want to hit you over is used in. So you can just browse through all the recipes for everything. And uh, there's shape and shapeless crafting. I think the shapeless. Oh, okay, uh, let's see here. Shapeless probably means you, know, you can have these in any slot as long as it's in the crafting table somewhere. It'll work. Uh, smelting, you know. There might be several types of smelters or something. I don't know. Uh, shaped IC2 crafting. Uh, this might be specific to a mod. I'm not really too sure what that's about. Uh, here's an alloy furnace from Red Power, and it can show you, you know, all the different things that it's uh, it can do. And back to shaped. Well, uh, currently, I got this in recipe only mode, and I honestly don't know how to get it out of that. You know, I click on this, it's not doing anything. So I literally cannot pull items out of this, even if I tried. Um, there's probably a config file to play with to get that to work. I haven't looked for it. I don't plan to, because I don't really care to cheat. I like it legit. So I'm going to run... Oh, yes, yeah, so back over here. It was something yeah, interesting I found. Yeah, this video is basically just an intro, a quick intro to all the different mods. I'll just, you know, speak a little bit about any one of them I just happen to run into. This is some sort of crazy neat obelisk from uh, Thomcraft. Now, I know the newer versions of Thomcraft, it's got, you know, much better graphics and, you know, neater stuff. But I, I don't mind playing one of these older versions. Now, uh, speaking of older versions and stuff... That's pretty much just the way it goes with a big mod pack like this. You know, it takes a lot of time to get... Ooh, bird. Pretty. It takes a lot of time to get, um, and a lot of effort, to get all the mods to work together properly. I mean, it's really hard. I can't hardly even get three or four mods to work right without it breaking. So the creators of um, Tekkit have really got their hands full, and they've really tried a lot to get this to work at all. Um, there is a 1.2.5 version, of, you know, for that version of Minecraft, and it's st still in development, and it kind of, you know, bugs out too bad on me for me to use right now. So I'm just going to play this until a very stable version comes out for that. And I've got patience. You should too. Because uh, they are really working their butts off to get this to work. And, you know, everybody going, please update, give me a new version. Constantly. It's probably driving them nuts. Uh, of course, that's a given. They're a bit snarky on the forums over it. So, right over here, I've got a millionaire. Uh, millionaire? I'm not sure how to say it. It's kind of French. But uh, it's a village, and this one's a man village. And uh, these people are pretty nice. <laughs> Yawned. Oh, said something to me, I don't even know what. But uh, this is like an early stage. I haven't done anything with this one yet, except found it. And uh, I don't know what that is, but it's neat. I wonder if they built that, or if that's from one of the other mods. Like, uh, there's uh, one of these mods gives you better dungeons and stuff. I wonder if that's related. Or it might be, you know, part of the millionaire. I'm not sure. There's so many mo uh, mods on here, I don't know what they all do. But, uh, you know, the, each of these villages, they've got a population. Uh, and their own name. There's a whole bunch of different cultures. Um, I've even seen Japanese and uh, see. There's probably Middle Eastern. There's ones that are out in the desert. Uh, you got European sorts of uh, people too. I've even seen bandits. You know, the whole group of bandits came by and just smacked me in the face with their iron swords and stuff. And they were wearing full armor. But that was on a different world. So each of these villages have their own population of children, adults, youth. Um, they've got a project that they would be working on, currently don't have the resources for it. Here's uh, how much resources they would need for that project. 
and this is say you know if they've got some construction on pro uh, progress it'd tell you there I don't know what this is about but uh, I know one of the mods on here you can take a map and paste it on the wall uh, so you just well, hopefully I don't smack one of these people uh, this person yeah and they could buy stuff and you could buy stuff off of them too I don't have anything here but if, say if I had wood I just uh, left click on this and it take the wood out of my inventory right here and it would give me money for it I could use that money to buy anything they got up here now these up here are like say um, scrolls or you know they'll explain parts of the game and uh, some of the things up here just you know some special items some regular items you can get a lot of neat stuff out of here and I don't know what the maze is about yet but you know I will so, uh, let's see, that's probably good enough for an intro so far. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and build my starting house. Whoa, Key. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't hurt me, Key. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that thing's going to kill me. Save me, horsey. <laughs> oh, crap. Stay away. Stay away. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I don't want to hurt you, Key, but, you know, you're forcing my hand. Get back. Get back. I'll run. <laughs> I don't want her to key. <laughs> anyway, uh, something else I turned off here and I forgot about. I'd like to show. We've got a raised minimap. So, I usually don't play with a minimap because it's kind of like having a GPS. I don't really need a GPS to find my fridge or something. But, uh, um, yeah, you can set waypoints for this thing. And, you know, see the you know, thing in the corner there. It's pretty nice. Uh, you can uh, figure out where you're at, which way you're going. If you look at it right, you can probably tell what time of day it is. Um, and, oh, wrong button, this one, here, this is a period, yes, hit the period and it'll pop up its options, so, uh, you can throw in waypoints, I got a spider spawner I found earlier, oh, change colors in uh, the waypoint too, and, uh, see, you can check if it's got an update, yep, there's an update, I don't care, and, see, uh, tell you the version, a bunch of other junk, marker options, who knows what that stuff's about, uh, you can turn on some sort of radar. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All sorts of stuff. Uh, I don't know what's what. I don't, I'm not going to use that. Too cheaty for me. A uh, whole bunch of other options. Third priorities, even. Hmm, you know. Square, circular, cool. I like it. So, I'm not usually going to use Ray's minimap. Unless I just happen to die and can't find where my body is. It's got a death point. Well, I'm probably not going to use that either. Uh, if I happen to get lost, I might use that. Um, that's going to be rare. I got a pretty good sense of direction, unlike some people I've watched. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what else? Ah, yes. Yeah. So over here, I've got you know a really beautiful spot. I'm going to throw a house right on this little peninsula. Uh, I got another house on a peninsula, actually, on a multiplayer. Huh. Maybe I just like peninsulas and didn't know it. So, here's my house. Impressive, isn't it? Actually, it's just everything for my house. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw this junk on before I die of everything ever. Because, you know, there's so many different monsters that can spawn in here, it's ridiculous. I even got ogres that could come in and just wreck everything. I don't want that. Uh, oh, yeah. Reminds me. If you don't like some of the things that, uh, I guess it's in here. If you don't like some of the monsters that can pop in, and there's there can be some really nasty ones. Go to your options, global mod settings, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures. You can, you know, change all the spawn limits and everything. You can, you know, you got a whole bunch of different uh, animals and animal types in here. You can make them more common, less common, whatever you like. Uh, let's see, there's a whole bunch of different hunting creatures like bears, crocodiles. Those are pretty neat too. I like those. Uh, big cats, polar bears, foxes. Those, they don't really do anything. Uh, let's see, we got sharks, dolphins, fishies, okay, rays, um, you can make the dolphins aggressive or not, I'm just going to leave it as is. Oh, I guess there was jellyfish in that mm, too. Plus you can affect, you know, frequency for your, um, vanilla stuff here. Um, and this, this also means you don't have to really have a farm for your pigs or your cows or anything. They should just spawn back in naturally. Um, see what else uh, hostile was it yeah here we go we got a whole bunch of ogres and these guys are pretty nasty uh, if you get close to them they'll break blocks just to get to you and they they're pretty mean um, I'm gonna leave them you know 
the way they are now, because, you know, it might make for some good video. Uh, we also got ghosts, like the wrath. They're, you know, crazy wee little dinky things that fly around and shoot you in the face or something. But, uh, yeah, you can affect, you know, how strong some of these guys are and uh, when they'll spawn, how they'll spawn, and everything else. So, you know, part of more creatures, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, I went ahead and grabbed all the junk I needed for, um my little house and I figured I'll mostly make a wood house more or less maybe marble floor something like that but uh, I got this rubber wood here which is from these gigantic trees of doom I chopped part of one down and I figured I'd use that as uh, the walls and stuff for uh, one of my my house here so uh, let's go ahead and get that started um, now if you hadn't watched any of my videos before you're missing out man I am well known for making fantastically awesome, beautiful houses. I don't think I'll start this right around. Uh, somewhere around here, yeah. Alright, I can't hardly see which one of these is which. Alright, uh, yeah, this here is uh, sapphire? Yeah, sapphire tools and stuff from Red Power. So, how big do I want this? probably want this an odd number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. Um, now, I'm going to build a little bit of this as a prototype, and then I'll come right back. Hmm, that looks like a decent start. Now, if you watched my other videos, especially the ones from, you know, uh, online server, yeah, um, I make a lot of circles, usually, but uh, I'm a little tired of those, so I'm going to give them a break. Uh, I'm going to try something like uh, hexagons or something. And we'll see how that works. Now this is sort of based a little bit, kind of loosely, upon uh, my other huge build, my uh, Jungle Palace. Uh, of course this is going to be far smaller. Yeah, I probably won't build too many big jumbo houses, you know, at least not yet. Maybe another time. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so this kind of like, you know, its own proof of concept. Normally I'll build like a house in creative or something and just to see how it turns out. Uh, I'd say that kind of, those two kinds of woods go together pretty nice. Hmm, yeah this shape's pretty nice, but something has become apparent. This tree's in the way, but there's an app for that. <laughs> now, hope, hopefully this stuff burns, I don't know. Is it rubber? Well, it is rubber wood. I don't know if it'll burn or not. I hope you burn, because I don't really want to chop this whole thing down by hand. That would kind of suck. And take forever, too. Burn tree, burn! Really? Arbor trees don't burn? I can't even get the leaves to burn. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Oh, no, it's not a mod preventing burning. Huh. I guess rubber trees just don't burn. That's gonna suck. I gotta remove this by hand. Now there's one interesting mod that I got on here that I like. It's called, I think it's called Tree Capitator or something like that. Just pop, uh, hit one block off of one of these little trees and uh, pretty much just all falls apart. Problem is, it doesn't work with the big tree. Uh -huh, I wish it did. Well, I kinda wish it did. Um, well, the thing is, with a big tree like this, you could probably easily make, like, a tree house out of it or something. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Oh well. Just gonna have to do it by hand. Well, I finally got that tree down, but, uh, now I got a whole buttload of rubber wood. Now, the problem with uh, rubber wood is, uh, it doesn't actually convert to planks. Throw it in the crafting bench, and you get a buttload of sticks. However, it's not totally useless. You can still throw it in the furnace and get, uh, charcoal. Or, if you got an extract extractor already, you can throw it in there and get a bunch of rubber. So, still quite useful. So, now, back to the house! No more interruptions! Ah. So, what I'm thinking is to have a floor up here, and uh, this thing like that, and i got to put in some more walls here. So, this thing was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, 7, 3, and 3, 7, yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 wide, there we go. And a whole second layer of this chunk. Now, um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in this uh, mod pack uh, that I actually haven't mentioned, nor do I have an opportunity to show off just yet. Um, there is the uh, real, real craft, I think. And uh, it adds a whole bunch of special um, extra options for, you know, if you want to 
make a bunch of railways and stuff, you got a lot of different new tracks to play with. So you can uh, make a huge awesome system for your, uh, your rail systems if you wanted. Because the vanilla system is, a, you know, a little bit, you know, um, too simplified. Uh, but that's usually the way of vanilla. They usually, you know, oversimplify everything. Um, see, so we also got ender chests in this. Um, now this is the original ender chests, not the ender chest of how it's going to be in uh, the vanilla later. Uh, and it's probably got more options and stuff, and I'm probably misclicking the crap out of this right here. Uh, let's see, we've also got... See, there was another one. Um, see, we got uh, Billcraft's um, additional uh, pipes and objects. And I think there's like two different kinds of additional pipes going on in there. Um, and let's see, let me get this straight. This looks right. Okay. And oh yeah, there's a, a little mod on here that allows you to write books and uh, make bookshelves. And uh, I'm gonna have some fun with that. I, I got a, my own personal novel to write, Panic in the Outhouse. And man, is that ever jacked up! <laughs> I screwed that up horribly. Okay, let's see if I can fix this. Um, yeah. Alright, uh, that's just the way of building, you know. Often you just screw things up. Okay. That's a simple, easy fix. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I should be able to write books, and I think this is one high. Yeah, because, like, something kind of like fall. Yeah. I really need a new pair of feather falling boots. I, I'm just gonna die everywhere. Uh, shoot. Uh, anyway. Generally, if I can speak, my plan is to, uh, frequently make, uh, some videos of me playing this mod pack, the technic pack, and we're gonna have a whole bunch of fun. I'm not familiar with most of the mods in here. I, I've played, uh, Red Power some, just a little bit. I played, um, let's see, Buildcraft a bit. Uh, I'm very familiar with Industrial Craft. However, there's some additional things that's been added with Industrial Craft that I'm not familiar with. Not only additional uh, mods that aren't part of the original, but also, um, let's see, uh, the original has some extra features in it now, since the last time I played it was clear back in Minecraft 1.0 or something like that. Or maybe even 1.8 maybe it was. I can't remember. It's been a while. So uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of fun just exploring all this, these different mods that I'm honestly not familiar with. Uh, and I'll see how much neat and awesome things I can make while I'm not at it. Hmm. Is this how I want it to be? Uh, I'm gonna go with it for this room. You know how, you know, sometimes buildings just turn out the way it may turn out on their own. So, uh, I'm just gonna ma make another one of these right here. I think I decided on the floor plan, more or less, and I got the floor in anyway. And I'm gonna change this to that. Uh, at least this wall here. Um, so, uh, and these are gonna be a little bit smaller. These here are 5x5s. Five fives. Um, and I'll have to build those up. And this here is seven long. And this over here is five by fives. And uh, threw this in here on the corners and such. Trying to make this thing look quite right. It should be all right. Um, I'm planning on having like a pointed long roof going this way. Um, and probably doing the same thing this direction. And you probably had no idea what I'm talking about. And uh, well, you'll see it later. So, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and work on one of these small ones here. Now, I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do is do a bunch of, uh, so, hmm, diamond-shaped things in here. And it hopefully will look correct. Uh, I want this up to a certain height. Uh, it's probably going to look horrible from low, and I'll fix it in a moment. I just want it all to be this height. Yep, that's really wrong. <laughs> All right, move this stuff out of the way. Okay, yeah, that's that's a lot better. Now I'm probably gonna replace some of these bits here with stairs and stuff, and it'll look better when I'm done. Uh, but for the moment, until I get to that point, I'm just gonna make it look like that as basically a placeholder and a reminder for later. 
Now, um, some other uh, interesting mods on here is something like uh, inventory tweaks and, you know, convenient inventory and stuff. You see, I've got two of these bits of wood in here, and because I've got a whole bunch more rubber wood sitting around, once I use these two up, I automatically get a whole other stack of uh, 64 in my hand. That is pretty nice. Of course, you can disable any of these if you don't really like them, but uh, they should work um, even in multiplayer and stuff like that. So, um, um, there's some pretty neat stuff in this mod, and I, I kind of like stumble upon new things I didn't notice, like, often. Oh, I didn't want this here. Move it. And through this right here. And, uh, I'm gonna have some wood. Yeah, yeah! And some wood right here. Alright. Uh, actually, this one might end up being a little bit different because it's going to be pointed. Uh, I'm going to have basically two pointed roofs uh, intersecting each other. Um, so how do I want to do that? So obviously the same size, and then I'll just do this kind of thing to it. And I'll change how this looks from below uh, slightly. I'll just make this taller. Yeah. That'll work. And uh, now just to fill in the rest of these bits and pieces, chop that thing down to this, and uh, just repeat the whole pattern over and over again. So that's usually how I do a bunch of my buildings. I find some interesting pattern that looks really cool when put together in different ways, and uh, it turns out looking pretty neat. I got all the walls up, and it's uh, looking pretty good so far. I don't know exactly which one of these walls is going to be my entrance. Maybe this one? Maybe that one? I don't know. I'll worry about that later. Next, I got a roof to throw on this thing. I'm uh, probably going to probably going to make it out of um, stairs, pretty much. The whole thing. Shouldn't be too tar uh, too hard. Let's see here. I uh, got a crafting bench. Nope. There shall be a crafting bench. I commandeth. Crafting bench. Alright, uh, this is going to take a lot of wood. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, I'm a tree ant. I've got all kinds of wood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, this, I'm going to need a lot of stairs. Okay, let's see if I can get this to look correctly. Oof. Man, I'm gravity impaired as usual. Oh, well. Alright, I think I'm going to throw some stairs right here. And, uh... After a while, after I finish this, I'll probably come back and throw some stone, or not stone, some wooden steps or half slab, like right here, attached to that. And, uh, let's see, somehow or other, I need to get these two bits of roof to connect to each other um, and make it still look good. So, go ahead and, go ahead and ring this a bit. Uh, let's see, then I'll probably do a bit of this. And then the next one, um, how do I want to do this? I'll put that there, this all across the side here. Now I might put wood underneath these steps for the inside to make sure it looks correct. Uh, we'll see how that all looks when I finish all this. So this is all real simple, just keep throwing your steps on. Um, hmm, what am I going to do with that top since it comes to a point? Uh, I'll probably just leave it semi-flat. Uh, Oh, now I remember what I was going to do with that. I was going to try to make it look like there's a big wood beam right here. Um, not too sure how I'm going to pull that one off. Um, let me see. If I put something like that there and run it all the way across the middle, that might be okay. Uh, I really wish I could turn these things on their side. That way uh, this would be on the left or right side rather than on the top. Uh, maybe there's something to do that hiding in this mod and I hadn't found it yet. Or maybe somebody needs to go make it. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, so, uh, they're probably just going to be kind of looking like that for now. And I'll just have to put uh, all this stuff together. And I'll probably extend this roof out a little bit that way, too. And it's starting to turn night. Slowly. Uh, it's starting to come along. I still got a lot more to do to it, I think. Uh, so, i got to go ahead and put in the inside of this roof here. Uh, that might be a little mess, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But I connect these up and still kind of bring them somewhat together pretty well if I can. 
Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do something really special, like on the very top of that, or not. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and put these together like that. And while I'm here, I might, um, hmm, what to do here? Uh, I think I'll actually put this here, right there. Yeah, that, that'll look good. And it does look good. Alright, go ahead and throw this together, and bring these in, and all on together, and mess. Gosh. Usually, if you build things, it always turns into a mess. It's always a mess. Of course, if you got any skill, you turn that mess into something awesome. Hopefully, I'll have a little skill. <laughs> Hopefully. Now, that's the weird spot. This is two different heights, but uh, I think I'll just throw this right on top of the other, something like that. And um, bring these together down here. Um, like that. Put some more wood. Yaw. And uh, just keep on going with the same pattern. Alright, well this part of the roof is finished. Uh, I might light it up more later. But uh, that's looking pretty neat, pretty good. Um, so uh, next I guess I got to... Uh, actually, before I throw slabs around it, I'm going to extend this out a ways and uh, bring it to a kind of a pointy end here. Um, oh, crap. Also, I think I'm probably out of uh, stairs, so I gotta go get more stairs. Crap. Went and got more wood. Yeah, yeah! And uh, I'm ready to go ahead and throw this stuff on and uh, see how it looks. Now, I might put more wood, like, right on top of this stuff, but I'm going to have to see what this looks like first. The uh, general idea is to uh, extend this out um, one for each uh, one of these I stick on, so hopefully I can do this without falling off too many times or dying, which is highly likely. <laughs> I'm so gravity impaired, it's ridiculous. Okay, um, all right, get, all right, there we go, and... I can go ahead and throw on the wood here. Let's see. Stick this way out. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, I might put this out one more block. Right there. Okay. Now to do the other side and probably fall to my death. Now, fortunately, there's no lava around, so <laughs> falling to my death hopefully won't happen. <laughs> it isn't that far of a fall here. Alright, there we go. Okay. Now, after I get this place built up... See this? Yeah, that's the right spot. I'm gonna go fill it with a whole bunch of neat things. Like, I'm gonna throw in some uh, buildcraft um, sorting system eventually. Um, of course, my starting set of um, industrial craft items and uh, objects to get all my uh, ores ground up and burnt and everything else and get some solar power going. Maybe after a while I'll make a, a nuclear reactor again. <laughs> Hopefully I won't explode that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be one big hole. I don't really want a hole where my house is. <laughs> uh, yep. Okay. No fall and uh, see what this is looking like. Oh, ooh, that's looking really neat. Now, I think I will put the wood on top of this uh, other kind of wood. Maybe. Hmm. How would I go about doing that properly? Now, I don't know if I'm going to, say, extend this out like so, all the way up and around. That could work. Uh, let me try that and see what this looks like. Uh, fill all this in here. Um, hmm, to be honest, I could probably leave this uh, kind of um, empty like this, but I'd probably just have to throw in like torches or something in here. That way, nothing ever spawns inside. Alright, that should be good enough. Get out of your grass. Okay, now to do this. Oops out of here. Yeah, I think that's probably going to work. Um, the only thing is, I might want to extend the whole thing out one more block, because I kind of want it, you know, this to be one way. 
uh, one further out than this is. Well, that's looking pretty neat and pretty good. I don't know for sure if I want to keep this all the way up, because I might just cut this short at about there. Leave it like so. Yeah, that honestly looks pretty good just like that. I'm going to do that. Uh, that'll even save me a little bit of wood. Um, one more. Right, there we go. And, uh, hmm, maybe. Uh, I might chop one more little bit off of that. Yeah. Oops. Well, I apparently still got a hole in here. There we go. Hole filled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, and let's see, does that side look better? I don't know. Hmm. I may still just keep the whole thing, because it still just looks kind of weird. It's not quite right. Uh, that honestly doesn't look too bad either. Um, maybe it'll just look better with it rather than without. So I'll just throw it on with and uh, play with it later. Alright, now I gotta do the same sort of thing right here. Um, that isn't gonna go well, is it? Uh, I think I'm going to leave this one flush. Like so. Remove the dirt. <laughs> dirt, you don't need to be here. Get that there. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably just going to have to remove this. It just didn't quite look right there. Now I can probably leave it about there, and it would probably be okay. Oh, indecisiveness. Why well, you had to be here? Why well, you got to be a thing? All right, get this out of the way. And yeah, now sorry, this isn't like you know, it's half me building and half me showing a little bit of the mod, but that's how it goes. I do a lot of awesome builds. Yeah, that looks really good. Uh, I had an idea. See if I can make this look a little bit better than it is now. Uh, hopefully, this will turn out all right. Um, gotta get up here first. Come on. Go. Get up. Her. Okay. Now the idea is a little something like this. Hopefully, I can get this to work and look correctly. Um, Let's throw in a little bit of wood behind most of this. I don't know if I'll have to do more to this or not. Something like that might work, maybe. Well, let's drop down and see what this looks like so far. I've got to keep working on this a little bit. Uh, eh, needs a lot more work, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, keep going. Get up here. Alright. Alrighty, and... Hmm, like so. Put this in its place here. I don't know. Hmm. Well, this is obviously sticking out a little far there. Maybe that. That might be what I'm after. Take a look at a little bit of this mess. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That's looking good. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can recreate any of that. On the other sides. Hmm, yeah, that looks really neat. Okay. That'll work. Now to do the same thing to the smaller side. Uh, hopefully this will turn out correctly. Just put one of these behind all of this. I think is more or less what I did. Um, of course, we'll see. Let's see. Um, hmm. You never know. I'll probably have to look back at it and see what I did. Alright, I think I did something like that, and then I had to do adjustments, like pop that off, that off, that off. Remove these. Uh, I wonder if this is about right. Uh, 
pretty close. That might be it right there, actually. Uh, let me take a look at this one again and see uh, if that's it. No, yeah, I'd say that was probably it. Yeah, that looks really good. Uh, double check this side. Yeah. Now, I might extend this out one or two more. Uh, just make it a little extra pointy. Um, oh, and I'm, uh, I removed the part of the pillar there. So, uh, let's see. Uh, a little bit of, oh, shit. Man. Ah, gravity. Why are you going to be such a thing? All right. Let's do that there. That might look good there. Uh, this place is looking really cool. Well, I've got to do this to the other sides. Well, last thing to do is throw a bit of slabs around the outside. And remove that ladder later. So, uh, let's see. Next is the inside, which I'm probably going to save for the next video. And, uh, wow, this is actually looking pretty good and pretty neat so far. Now let's take a far shot. Oh, wow. That's... An interesting and uh, rather impressive uh, pointy roof thingy there. That looks pretty cool, especially from a distance. Now, I still got a lot more to do to it. I gotta add details, put the furnishings inside, start uh, sticking a bunch of mod items inside, and uh, I might do a little bit more work to it. I gotta put in the windows and things too. So, this is what I got so far, and uh, that'll be uh, that'll be about it for a video. So, join me next time, and uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of fun exploring the rest of this mod. See ya!